Hello, I am a person, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Techie Toys Howler. This prop was released in 2012 as a part of the Demonica lineup, starting with, of course, the 2010 Demonica, which was infamously faulty, and then succeeding that was the 2011 Demonica, which had different skin and the neck mechanism was changed, followed by Damien in 2012, and then the Howler, the same year. He was technically the last one in the line and the most advanced to date due to his mouth movement. And yeah, I got this, uh, th this was a Spirit exclusive back in 2012, but actually they were still sold up until I think like 2018. I'm pretty sure this is the last one because the day after I got mine, they were out of stock. I'm pretty sure this was the last one that was ever sold new in the box. It was sold on Amazon by a guy, I guess. It wasn't actually Techie selling them as far as I could remember, but it was new in the box. It didn't come in a spirit box or even like a Techie branded box. It was just a shipping box. And yeah, he fully works still to this day. Uh, other than his neck turning, the belt has been bad for years, but I am not about to go and replace that because I don't trust him and I don't trust myself. So I don't want to end up breaking him. Other than the neck movement uh, side to side, it works fully. The track, when he's going down, it is always clicked for some reason, but it's never affected him. I think it's a weird thing with the uh, split between the track. Uh, because there's two segments in these Techie Toys tracks. He's really detailed, actually, especially on, like, the face. Although mine's a little odd. Like, the jaw is a little lopsided, and it's always kind of been like that, so it doesn't open the best. But it still works. Yeah, he uses a uh, pretty good latex as well. It doesn't dry rot like the classic YJ stuff, and the hands are, of course, plastic like Demonica's and Damien's. Actually, I think they use the same mold as those two. At the very least, I think it's the same one as Demonica. He has a bunch of tears in his shirt where there's, like, hair coming out of it. The shirt itself is pretty thin, and the right lighting, you can sort of see through it. But it looks pretty good, all things considered. This... Uh, animatronic was infamous for breaking the neck lever mechanism and I think that's just because of how heavy his head is compared to you know Demonica and Damien as he has a moving mouth. Now in my opinion I think he has the coolest soundtrack out of the Demonicas and uh, Damien because he's the howler sounds like he's in genuine pain trying to struggle to lift himself up and I really like that it's really cool and it adds to the effect a lot I've always loved the soundtrack. It's pretty loud, you know, classic techie speaker. Um, it's This one actually has, as opposed to the harness that they made in 2012, this one has a jack. So I'm assuming that this one was still being produced by at least 2013, which is odd because they were not sold at Spirit that year. Actually, no, scratch that. I think they were sold at Spirit that year, but that was it. Anyway. Yeah, he still fully works for the most part. I'm still very happy with him. He has never once provided me any issue. And yeah, he was my first Techie Toys prop and my second animatronic overall. Uh, second to Ghost Girl over there. So I'll plug him in and I'll test him. His head was straight by the beginning of the video because that's how I positioned it. Unfortunately, uh, the belt is so bad to the point where it does not reset completely, but it doesn't really matter. He still hits all the correct relay switches, so it doesn't really matter to me. Unless the head completely breaks, I'm not really going to do much about it, and even then, I'm not going to 
replace it myself probably. He resets uh, staring to the right a little bit uh, because of how bad the belt is. So yeah, I'll try to activate him another time since I didn't really get that good of an angle of his face. Oh, also this was back when Techie Toy still had the timers. And he was in the Spirit Acres farm? No, 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 no. Uh, re regardless, he was in the barn <laughs> in 2012. Anyway. wraps up this guy uh yeah i love him he still works uh surprisingly because he was not as faulty as like 2020 2010 demonica but he was still pretty delicate especially the neck levers but mine have been trucking along for ever since i had him so yeah more reviews coming this is the first one or maybe i'm already uploading them okay bye